Alright, so in this video, I'm going to show you how I put cup holders on my Arctic hard sided 20 quart cooler. Um, if you're like me and bought a uh, cooler off the market that doesn't have cup holders, like most of them, I think the only ones that have cup holders, like built into the top, are uh, Ozark Trail and uh, what's the other one? Pelican coolers. Yeah, they're the only two I know of that have them. Uh, just a disclaimer, do not buy the uh, Ozark Trail Coolers. They're an absolute piece of shit. I did an ice test on one, and it didn't even last a day in 60 degree weather. So, anyways, enough about that. Um, this, I got this about a year ago, and I really regretted not getting a Pelican because it doesn't have cup holders. None of the Arctic models do. And, um... It really kind of made me mad because I wanted them because we take it out on the boat a lot and you know your drinks are spilling all over the place if you catch a like a catfish or something and you're hauling it in your drinks are spilling every which way so I wanted to get some cup holders put on this and I've been pondering about it for a year now about what the best way to do it would be and the best way I've um, found to do this <clears throat> is uh, you go to Walmart and you buy yourself a mat just like this. Now this is your standard like kitchen mat that you put in front of your sink. And um, you just stand on it and it's made a nice foam material. So you can pick one of them up at Walmart for about 10 bucks is what I think I got it for. So, um, and uh, another two materials you're gonna need. You're gonna need to get um, a good bit of that uh, Gorilla Tape double-sided stuff that's really good and sticky. Um, I get the 38 pound stuff just because I wanted this thing to stick well and I didn't want it to fall off so I got the heavier of the two kinds of Gorilla Tape and you're also going to want to get yourself some uh, Gorilla Glue the uh, stuff that will bond to plastic because your coolers are made out of roto molded plastic and oh another material you're, if it's optional but you don't have to I got some uh, GE, I think uh, General Electric made it. It's uh, just 100% sil silicone caulking, the weatherproof stuff. It's, it's freeze proof and uh, heat proof or whatever, so it won't crack or shrink or nothing like that. And I just line the inside of the cup holder with that, just so the water from your sweating cans and bottles don't get underneath your mat and rot away your, um, your double stick. So the way I went about doing this is I got my mat, brought it home, and I traced out my uh, circles for the desired uh, diameter circle you want to put into this mat. And it's about, it's about a, I think it's five eighths of an inch, so a little bigger than a half. So I uh, just thought I'd throw that in there. But anyways, you trace out your uh, desired circle wherever you want on your mat. <clears throat> and... Uh, then you do that with your chrome sharpie. I use chrome because it shows up nice. And then once you have your shape, you want to find like an old knife or a fillet knife is what I used. And get yourself a uh, like a propane torch or even like a candle. If you got a candle, that'll work fine. And you're going to want to heat your blade up. And then you're going to want to trace out your outline of the cup holder with your hot knife. And it'll cut through that mat. It's made out of foam really nicely. If you do it without heating it up, it'll kind of bitch it up a little bit. I mean, it won't look as nice as if you got a hot knife. It'll be smoother and better looking. Um, so once you do that and you cut out your shape with your hot knife, um, you're going to want to flip your mat over to the other side. The top has like a diamond pattern. It ain't diamond plate, but it's diamond type pattern. So you're going to flip it over to your opposite side that's flat and put your uh, double stick gorilla tape on it and you're going to want to outline the whole thing so once you have the out the underside outlined completely in your gorilla tape you're going to want to run around the edges with your gorilla glue and do like a thin little 3 16th inch bead the whole way around the sides of your mat and that just provides a better seal for your edges and it does an overall better job just keeping that down if you're out there and somebody goes to lift it and their hand slips up it won't tear it off right away I mean you might have to re-glue it but it does a better job anyways so you're gonna want to outline the whole mat in Gorilla Glue then outline your cup holders go around the edges of the circle the circumference 
and outline it in Gorilla Glue. So once you do all that, you're going to want to flip your mat over and just stick it down wherever you want on top of your cooler. So um, once you get that done and have it all stuck down, I think the Gorilla Glue takes about two hours to cure to the touch. Now a full cure is 24 hours, so I'd leave it for a day or two just to be sure about it. So once you have all your glue done and cured up, you're going to want to uh, take your caulking in there, your 100% silicone GE caulking, and you're just going to want to outline the insides of your cup holders. I don't know if you can see that or not. My camera ain't that good. But I caulk the whole way around the cup holders just to keep the water out from underneath it. Again, that's optional, but I do things the right way, the first way, the first time is what I meant to say. And uh, I don't like to mess around or do stuff half-assed, so I did it the right way. Um, so then once you do that, your silicone takes a full day, 24 hours to dry. And then once your silicone dries, you should be good. Um, if you want to go around the edges again and touch up on uh, the, um, oh, what you, around the edges with your Gorilla Glue, you can do that again if it ain't quite stuck down the whole way. That's uh, another good way to do it. Uh, but other than that, that's pretty much all I did. I mean, it's pretty cheap. It cost me probably probably 20 bucks for all the materials. The Gorilla uh, double-sided tape, the uh, silicone, the... Um, what the hell else? Well, anyways, all the materials cost me probably about 25 bucks to do this project. And it's really good. Arctic coolers are probably the cheapest on the market right now. Their uh, motto is overbuilt, not overpriced. So if you're looking to get one, I'd recommend these because they do hold ice really well and they ain't like your price of a Yeti. So this is what I'd recommend if you're looking to buy one. But anyways, that's just probably the simplest way I've thought about it as if you got a better way, go ahead and do it your way if you like that better. But this is my way that I found works pretty well. So that'll be all.